This is the voice, this is the voice, this is the voice of Radio Free Naruda. <laughs> The Campento fluid head in Matt is failing, Supervisor Cowpox. Der half tot pest. Boot not heat. Minty, minty, minty. Voila! Devil tofu. So you won't be having the head cheese? Damn it, Abdul. You know we are vegetarian. Bradford 176 at 60. Bradford 176 at 60. <laughs> You're a poet! Poetry survival skills and helpful household hints. Poetry critique and you. Folks, let's face it. At any poetry workshop, the only thing more prevalent than the gushing, fawning, inane, lickspittle flattery is its continual stream of bitter, backbiting, bicker, loosely labeled critique. Everything from abstruse meanderings over the poet's inability to faithfully maintain the visual imagery of a 19th century transcendentalism in the face of a post-war deconstructionism to savage yells of YOU SUCK is flung like so much ape dung at the zoo, spoiling an otherwise quiet, enjoyable evening of wine, cheese, and the society of literati. Only a miserably deranged sociopath, which all too often haunts such circles, would find such a time-consuming and meaningless exchange worthwhile. What to do? Here at the Texas Poetry Workshop, we have devised a simple, quick, and effective means of dispute resolution. It but requires an absolute minimum of equipment and is accessible to all skill levels of poet. Items required. A six-foot-long leather tether pair of Bowie knives. Praxis. The poet and critic are tether-bound at opposite ends by their non-dominant hand. Surviving opinion prevails. Good luck. Right on. And don't forget the stipend. The proceeding was brought to you by the makers at Golematic. Bright Lies for Dark Truths.